things happen to our parents, and sometimes we hear about them, and sometimes we don't. I didn't actually hear about this happening until I was well into my 50s. But since then, my, I asked my mother about it, and she told me about it. One of my sisters does not believe this happened. You say, I say, and it's to my sister. You, my sister, say my mother lied, that what she said was sand that fell between the slats of sidewalks made of planks, where every day our mother walked with us to store or park. Yet I was there the day she turned and ran. She'd recognized a face she hadn't seen for 20 years. We wondered what was wrong. We hadn't been at Mrs. Hazen's house for long, not long enough to look at things that Mrs. Hazen kept in cabinets in her dark front room, or pick the leaves that tasted sweet of one particular kind of clover found in Mrs. Hazen's yard. My mother pushed the, sh the stroller. You were told to hang on to its handle. I was on my tricycle and pedaled fast to keep up with her stride. The only time we stopped was when we came to Jean Talon, where even then, in 1951, the Chevrolets, the Packards, and Nash Ramblers rushed as if the devil raced there right beside them. Then we crossed. My mother's dress was some light color, blue, I think. It had a buckle on its leather belt. I'd felt that belt at times across my bum. But on that day, I only wondered why her eyes were filled with tears when no one had said anything mean and we'd been as good as gold. You were too small to know she cried when we got home. She cried all day. She cried all night. I don't know where our father was, and it took over 50 years for her to share how she'd been hurt when she was eight. And Mrs. Hazen's son was put in jail for 20 years. She never could say raped. It's true she lied at times, and even you admit that you too learned to lie, and I. It's an inherited gene. But it's the details, she described, the taxi ride, his stairs, the painted iron hospital bed, and how at home her mother made her lie out on the balcony, her legs apart. She hated that, to let the sun take care of her and help her heal. The feeling of her heels against warm wood. That's the way it was, she said, and she forgot about it then until Charlie came home from jail. Mm -hmm. Thank you.